There is often a misconception that a minimalist wardrobe is boring, that you have to use the same clothes every single day. However, with some thought, a minimalist wardrobe can look just as finished and polished as a complicated one. In this video, I'm going to share some guides to look sharp while maintaining a minimal wardrobe. There are 6 things to take into consideration when building a minimalist wardrobe. First is wearing clothes that fit well. Basic, but one that many people overlook. This is arguably the most important, as any clothes that fit you well will instantly elevate your look. An expensive piece that doesn't fit will always look worse than a cheaper one with a good fit. This doesn't mean that you can't go for a wider or skinnier fit, but rather, be aware of your body shape and size. The shoulder seam of your t-shirt should start where your shoulder ends and your arm begins, unless the clothes are intentionally designed to be oversized. Sleeves should fit closely without being tight or restrictive, and pay attention to the length. Somewhere around halfway between armpit and elbow will generally look good. Aim for a fitted look on the torso, no tension line across the chest, and a little bit of room on either side of the waist area. Length is the final piece of the puzzle. You want to aim for somewhere around mid-crotch. For pants, you want to make sure that the waist sits properly without needing a belt. Length is also really important, it's a whole video topic, but generally, you want to go anywhere from a full break to no break. Finding pants with the perfect length is often challenging, but it is both cheaper and easier to alter the length rather than the fit. Many brands also offer free alterations as part of their service. Next is color palette. A minimalist wardrobe typically has a combination of neutral tones. Black, white, grey, beige, and navy are considered neutral colors in fashion. Each of this color except black has a number of different shades. You can easily mix and match colors from these tones with a low chance of messing things up. To simplify things, I highly recommend choosing your preferred color as a foundation when building your wardrobe. I personally like brown and navy, but others might prefer grey or black. Once you've nailed the foundation, you can experiment and add a piece or two with bolder color. I personally tend to avoid prints and keep patterns to a minimal. Think simple stripes and checks. Texture refers to the finish and feel of the fabric surface. In clothing, this can come from the material's natural appearance or the way it has been treated, for both functional and aesthetic purposes. To add visual interest into a one or two color look, use different type of textures to create some contrast. You can do this by mixing different type of fabrics or simply using the same fabric with different finishes. Knitwears are an easy way to add visual texture to your outfit. They are also versatile and can be worn as an outer or inner layer. In the peak of summer, linen makes for smart dressing while denim can be great on cooler summer days to add weight and density. Alternatively, you can use two of the same materials with varying weights and finishes. This cotton suit with a seersucker fabric is extremely comfortable to wear during spring and summer. It has a puckering effect that creates depth and texture. Having clothes that you can wear in a number of different ways is the hallmark of a capsule wardrobe. This way, you can maximize the number of styles while trimming down the number of clothes. When making a new purchase, consider if it will work with at least three other outfits. Assigning pieces to a look will also help reduce decision fatigue. Let's take this brown leather jacket as an example. I've assigned four different looks that I can go with. When I feel like using leather jacket, my choices comes down to this four look which is easy to determine depending on weather and occasion. Of course, this is simply a guideline and you can always experiment when you have the time and feel like it. By having fewer pieces, we can focus more on the quality. While higher quality clothes are generally more expensive, there are also great options out there on a budget. On the other hand, expensive brands doesn't always translate to quality. Here are a list of popular brands with minimalist pieces that you can look into. Use this simply as a list if you don't know where to start looking. There are many more brands out there that I may have missed, so feel free to leave a comment to help out other viewers. Even if you nail the fit and color, it is pointless if the clothes you are wearing aren't made for the environment. If you live in warmer climates, then you'd want to build your wardrobe with more breathable materials such as cotton and linen. On the other hand, if you live in cooler climates, then materials such as wool and cashmere will be your best friend. 
Climate will also dictate the number of each clothing type you have. Since I'm based in Sydney with a temperate climate and abundant sunshine, I only own 4 sweaters while having 8 t-shirts. During cold weather, you also want to make sure that you can stay warm outdoor, but also be able to take off some layers and still be comfortable and not look out of place when you're indoor. Those are the 6 things to take into consideration when building a minimalist wardrobe. Now, let's apply these principles in action. video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.